Welcome to the Go Hard Chick Podcast, your podcast for all things health and wellness for women. This is your host, Crystal Holmes, and it is my mission to inspire and empower women to overcome stress and prioritize their inner healing for improved energy, health, and confidence. Our focus here at the Go Hard Chick Podcast is on the eight pillars of wellness, which we believe provides a holistic approach to achieving a healthier and more fulfilling life. Join us as we explore a wide range of topics and tools to support you on your wellness journey. Welcome, welcome back, Go Hard Chicks. This is your host, Crystal Holmes, and this is episode 105. This is a mini-sode, guys, so we I'm doing something different here, and I hope you like it, and I hope you all start participating with this even more. But in this episode, I am going to answer a listener's health and wellness question. Yes, a listener left me a audio recording. Uh of a question that she has, and I'm going to let you listen to that. So we've got this question from our awesome listeners, and it goes like this. Hey, Crystal. Um, I've been listening to your podcast for a long time, and I really glean a lot of the advice that you share with us. Thank you so much. I do have a question. It's probably been about two years since I've moved my body. I know it's important to move my body. Um, I have a membership um, at a dance place where I can go move my body, but I feel like I've just been so stuck that even though I know what to do, I have a hard time doing it. And I feel like I have no idea of where to begin. And I'm wondering if that sounds confusing um, or not, but I really just need some advice if you have any of how to get back into a movement routine when you've been out for so long, even internet sources are like, oh, if it's been a few months and I'm like, no, it's probably been about two years. So any advice of how I can start moving? I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome listener. Awesome. Go hard chick. Thank you for reaching out and kudos to you for taking that first step towards your fitness journey, or should I say the rebirth of your fitness journey? I've got some actionable tips and some encouragement in response to your question. Tip number one, we got to start slow. Let's start slow and let's set some realistic goals. I mean, it's essential to be patient with yourself. Don't jump in and say, I'm going to go back and sign up with a trainer and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this it may be a little overwhelming because it's been two years. And we all know Rome wasn't built in a day and neither is a strong and healthy body. So let's start with some achievable short-term goals. For example, maybe you can aim to exercise for just 20 to 30 minutes a few times a week to begin with. This will help you ease back into that routine without feeling overwhelmed. One thing I love to do is I love walking. Even though I hit the gym frequently, five days a week, I still incorporate walks. I love to walk. I love the scenery. I love being on the trail. I love walking around my neighborhood. Walking is super, super easy. It's effective. You don't need equipment. You don't need any, you don't have to go to a gym. You don't need any membership. You can just walk around your neighborhood or find a wonderful park you enjoy. You can walk alone. You can walk with friends. So I would encourage you start with walking and then kind of build from there. Tip number two, you need to find an activity you love. Okay. Because the key to sticking with exercise is enjoying it. So try different activities until you find something you really enjoy, whether it's dancing, like you, maybe you can start back in the dance class that you mentioned, walking, hiking, swimming. Oh my gosh. I love tennis. I'm not that great at it, but (laughs) that's something that I do at least on once a week where I, you know, get my heart rate up. 
maybe you could join a fitness class, you know, but when you love what you're doing, it's not going to feel like a chore and make it fun. Tip number three, get a buddy. You need an accountability workout buddy. Find a friend, find a neighbor who may want to go on those walks with you. This will make a huge difference. Find someone who shares your fitness goals. Join a local fitness group or class. Reach out to a neighbor or a coworker and say, hey, let's take a walk during lunch. Do it. Find someone because you guys are both are going to hold each other accountable. And having that workout buddy can provide motivation and even make exercise more enjoyable. Tip number four, (laughs) invest in comfortable gear. Now, you know, I love to shop, baby. (laughs) So it's always a good time to treat yourself to some new workout clothes and even shoes. But really, really, I mean, I know it's tough financial times right now, so don't go break the bank. But Feeling comfortable and confident in your clothing, in your workout gear can boost your motivation and make you look forward to your workouts. Tip number five, schedule your workout plan like you would any other important appointment. Put it on your calendar and stick to that schedule as closely as possible because consistency is key to seeing progress. Tip number six, you got to celebrate the small wins. Don't forget to celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they may seem. Every step forward is a victory. Whether you did an extra push up, you ran a little farther, pat yourself on the back and keep moving forward. Tip number seven, and my final tip remember, go hard chicks, that setbacks are a part of this journey. This is a journey. It's not a destination. Now, I think I've shared before, I kind of started my health and fitness journey in 2009-ish. I fell off. Well, I got pregnant. I fell off. I had to get back on. I fell off again. I'm back on. It, It just happens. That's life. So don't beat up on yourself. Just if you miss a workout or you face challenges, Don't be too hard on yourself. The most important thing is that you keep going. You've got this. And I believe in you. Well, Go Hard Chicks, that is a wrap for today's episode. We hope you find these tips and these words of encouragement helpful. And to the listener that left the question, I am eternally grateful. I was excited about answering this question. And I hope, I hope, You can take one of these seven tips or several of these tips and get yourself back in gear. Maybe start with a walk. Maybe go back to your dance class. I would love to hear from you, hear back from you to see how it is going. If you have any more questions or topics you'd like us to cover in future episodes, feel free to reach out to me on social media or through our website, gohardchick.com. Also, check out the show notes for the link to leave us an audio message like our fabulous Go Hard Chick guest did in this episode. And as always, keep going hard, stay strong, keep rocking that healthy lifestyle. Until next time, Go Hard Chicks, take care. Thank you so much for tuning into the Go Hard Chick podcast. We hope you find our episodes and discussions informative, engaging, and helpful in your journey towards a healthier lifestyle. At the heart of this podcast is the belief that health and wellness are essential aspects of a happy and fulfilling life. Through our conversations, we've aimed to provide you with actionable steps and insights that you can incorporate into your daily routine to improve your physical and mental well-being. We want to encourage you to share the podcast with your friends and family, as we believe that everyone can benefit from learning more about health and wellness. By spreading the word, we can create a community of empowered women who are committed to living their best lives. We hope to continue to bring you valuable content 
that will help you to achieve your health and wellness goals. Stay tuned for more episodes. And until next time, go hard chicks, take care.